Hi friends, I hope you are all well. And as I taught you last time some uh, you know English grammar and English phrases. And I would like to start today with some German facts, you know, like fun and interesting facts about Germany. I just would like to tell you that Germany has a population of 81 million people. Other fact is one third of Germany is still covered in forest and woodlands. जो जर्मन का पार्ट है वो वन थर्ड पार्ट जो जर्मनी का है वो जंगल से कवर है पूरा सो इट्स वेरी ग्रीन इट हैज लॉट ऑफ ग्रीनरी पोल्यूशन फ्री एज यू नो जर्मन इज अ मेंबर ऑफ द यूरोपियन यूनियन एंड 65 फाइव परसेंट ऑफ द हाईवे इन जर्मनी हैव नो स्पीड लिमिट एंड यू कैन ड्राइव एज फास्ट एज यू वॉन्ट एंड वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट This is very very essential and important. University is free for everyone. Yes, my friends, German universities are free for everyone, even non-Germans as well. People who are living in Germany and would like to study in you know at universities, that's totally free. And there are over twenty one hundred castle in Germany. कासल यू अंडरस्टैंड पुराने टाइप के जैसे हमारे जयपुर में किले वगैरह हैं इन जर्मनी दे हैव ऑल्सो कासल्स सो ट्वेंटी वन हंड्रेड कासल्स दे हैव इन जर्मनी वेरी ब्यूटीफुल गुड आर्किटेक्चर गुड फर्नीचर लैश ऑफ ग्रीन इट्स वेरी वेरी नाइस इट्स वेरी गुड एंड देन देर आर ओवर फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड डिफरेंट बियर्स इन जर्मनी येस इफ यू आर beer loving person and you would like to have beer more than 1500 different beers you can have and you can say that german is a beer country super duper beers the taste is great and you can have it you know and they are very cheap as well so more than 1500 different beers you can found in germany german is the seventh largest country in europe covering an area of 137847 square miles of which 34836 square miles is covered by land and 3011 square miles contains water so this is the graphic that uh, you know in which area it's covered by land and which our area is covered by water and berlin has the largest train station in europe yes my friend berlin has the largest train station in europe it's very very big you know and it's beautiful too so you have come to know some fact and interesting things about germany yes now we start to teach you a little bit you know these were the facts fun should be there you know while learning a language there should be fun and when we do fun we learn really great with with pleasure okay so i'll start yes i would like to teach you about the colors you know how we call colors in german language so you see there are some colors which have placed by me and see this is rot first i tell you the pronunciation and then later on i'll describe you the meaning as it's written there you can see but we describe it you know i'll describe you later on rot blau grune gelb orange violet white swars grau rosa lila turkish you know? so how you pronounce the colors you know once again rot blau ग्रून है गेल्प और वेलोट है वाइस स्वार्स ग्राउ रोजा लीला टर्किश सो दैट्स हाउ यू पर नाउंस दलर इन जर्मन लैंग्वेज रोट इज रेड ब्लाउ इज ब्लू ग्रून है इज ग्रीन गेल्प इज येलो और इज ऑरेंज वियोलेट है इज वायलेट वाइस इज वाइट Schwarz is black, grau is grey, rosa is pink, 
Leela is purple, turquoise is turquoise. So these are some colors which are very important. You can use it, you know, which you use mostly. So now you know that what we call German colors in German language. So we go to the next slides now, my friend. Here I'll teach you some, you know, the weather, das Wetter. What we call it in Germany? The weather we call it das Wetter. And I, I also told you whenever you are learning German language, the article are very, very important, you know. You must learn whatever noun you are learning. Learn with article because whole German is depend on articles. You know, like in Hindi, जैसे हमारे Hindi में male, female होते हैं और एक तीसरा gender भी होता है, ऐसे ही male हमारे यहाँ पर भी है Hindi में, you know, male, female, third gender is and plural. ऐसे ही हमारा Germany में भी male, female, neutral and plural. चार भागों में बाटा गया है और चारों भागों के आर्टिकल बताए गए हैं वो आर्टिकल्स के बारे में भी मैं बात करूंगा आपसे बाद में आपको समझाऊंगा कि आर्टिकल्स का यूज क्या है बट माय फ्रेंड्स एज आई एम टीचिंग यू एज वी आर मूविंग फॉरवर्ड हमेशा जो कोई भी नाउन हम पढ़ रहे हैं उसका आर्टिकल आपको याद रखना बहुत जरूरी है अगर आप आर्टिकल को याद नहीं रखेंगे तो जर्मन हम नहीं सीख सकते उसकी ग्रामर को नहीं जी सीखा जा सकता तो इसीलिए आर्टिकल्स याद रखिए आप सो देखिए दस वेटर पहले जैसे मैंने बताया था पहले मैं जर्मन लैंग्वेज में प्रनाउंस करूंगा उसके बाद हम इसके मीनिंग्स के बारे में बात करेंगे डी यार साइट डेयर जोमर डेयर हैब्स डेयर विंटर डेयर फ्रूलिंग डीआर साइट डेयर जोमर डेयर हैब्स डेयर विंटर डेयर फ्रूलिंग ओके सो यू सी द मीनिंग द स्वेटर इज द वेदर डी आर साइट इज द सीजन डेयर जोमर समर डेयर हैब्स ऑटम डेयर विंटर विंटर डेयर फ्रूलिंग स्प्रिंग इन जोमर लाइक वी से इन समर यू नो इम जोमर इम हैब्स इम विंटर इम फ्रूलिंग मीन्स इन समर इन ऑटम इन विंटर इन स्प्रिंग यू नो एज वी से इन इंग्लिश आई गो इन समर यू नो आई गो इन विंटर सो वी से इन जर्मनी इम जमर इम हैब्स इम विंटर इम फ्रूलिंग सो दिस इज दट दिस इज द प्रपोजिशन सी this is the preposition and what is the preposition i'll just tell you this can you see this this is the preposition im like we have in english in so that's how we have preposition in english in german as well so this is im summer im herbs im winter im Frolling. Once again, the sweater, the weather, the yard site, the season, their summer, summer, their herbs, autumn, their winter, winter, their frolling, spring, im summer, in summer, im herbs, in autumn, im winter, in winter, im frolling, in spring. So these are the seasons and. you know all everything these are the weathers now we move further to the next slide i hope you are learning well okay you got it everything what i am teaching you you must remember german is not a very difficult language you just concentrate on it and it would be easier you know it's not that difficult now how you express we have learned something about the weather now how you express about these weathers you know so you always say we is the sweater you know how is the weather when somebody is asking you how is the weather it is always we is the sweater s regnet it's raining
Wie ist das Wetter? How is the weather? Es regnet. Die Sonne scheint. Es schneit. Es ist windig. Es ist heiß. Es ist kalt. Es ist neblig. Es ist gemütlich. Es gibt ein Gewitter. So, that's how you pronounce in German. I'll give you in English as well. Wie ist das Wetter? How is the weather? Okay. Es regnet. It's raining. The sun shined. The sun is shining. Es schneit. It is snowing. Es ist windig. It is windy. Es ist heiß. It is hot. Es ist kalt. It is cold. Es ist neblig. It is foggy. Es ist gemütlich. It is pleasant. Es gibt ein Gewitter. There is a storm. Okay, so when we are learning about these weathers, naturally you have come to know what weathers we have and how we express, you know, during while our conversation. So now you have come to know that and what and then you know we have all the weathers now which verb we use to express it so what verb we use we were use sein sein meaning is to be you know now you will come to know ich bin du bist er sie es ist ihr seid sie sind sie sind this sie is formal as i have written there this is formal and this is informal as i told you in my last last lessons in germany we have also a system like people who are respected we call them z it means up and people whom we are close to we call them do so that is why it is informal and this is formal okay so now ich bin is i am du bist is you are informal er sie es ist he she it ihr seid is they are sie sind you are formal yeah and sie sind is plural so you see we have three z here this one this one and this one okay this used as she this used as respected formal and this used for plural so how you define you have to find out the you know quantity of noun if it is singular then if it is written in in a sentence in singular way then it is c it means z when it is written also in capital but single it's z which is u up and when it is written in plural it means it's z in plural so that's how you will find out we make sentences later on you will come to know then how we can identify that what is plural and what is singular okay so once again as i told you that when we are describing the weathers we always use the verb sein now you say sir there are many things which you are showing you see ich bin du bist er sie es so think about this s is now i'll go to the back slide
you see where we are using the verb sein yes i'll tell you where we are using it see how we is das weather i taught you na just air z and s is ist okay v is das wetter er g s ist v is das wetter es regnet you see die sonne scheint es schneit es see we are using everywhere verb sein es ist see es ist es ist verb ist sein es ist verb ist sein es ist es ist so now you have come to know which verb we are using for it we are using the sein form to describe the weather okay this we have already learned and i hope that you have understood the weathers very well and if you have any query you can call us or you can write to us okay i'll move to the next